Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. The search continues this morning for the driver involved in a hit and run crash in Detroit that left a man and three children hurt. It happened Wednesday afternoon as a man was driving the kids home from school. Now, witnesses say the driver blew through a yield sign at the intersection of Florence and Mark Twain on the city's west side, crashing into another vehicle and then got out of his car and took off running. Firefighters and EMS had to use the jaws of life to get the victim out of their car. If you have any information on this crash, call Detroit Police. Welcome back. Good morning. Feels nice outside right now. Uh, we are down to two. The magic number is two. Two oh days goodness, left Kevin. of summer. Bum, bum, bum. It's making me nervous. It, again, it's just a statement <laughs> of fact. It's not. It, a, it's just facts. It's, it's not a bad or a good thing. Facts. So many feelings. I know. It's going to be warm, though. We still have a, a warm days left. I mean, we're looking at today and tomorrow in the 80s. Rain this morning around Lansing. It's moving west to east. So around Ann Arbor, most of these showers are weakening as it moves farther east. And so throughout this morning, uh, we'll likely see most of this rain, at least the heavier the rain, staying out in some of the western suburbs, then uh, closer to downtown Detroit and around the metro Detroit area. But Linden, Howell, a couple of uh, touch and go showers, some heavier rain, though, along I-96 and especially just to the south across the Livingston County here over the next half hour. So plenty more rain to go, but more showers possible through this morning. This afternoon, the winds will be out of the southeast, 10 to 15 miles per hour, staying breezy tonight. It gets real windy, though, tomorrow. Winds could be gusting over 30 miles per hour tomorrow. We will look at the temperatures again here through the weekend coming up in just a few. Well, they are known for their iconic face paint, leather outfits and hit songs, and now they're calling it quits. Yeah, last night on America's Got Talent, Kiss announced a final farewell tour. How about that? Kiss made that announcement. Detroit Rock City there on the show while performing that song. Dates for the end of the road world tour are expected to be announced in the coming weeks. Is this the final tour, like round four? So they say. I yes. love that song. It puts me in such a good mood. <laughs> it is. I know, right? These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.